Hi, I'm Francis Seven, and this is my so-called virtual life. Life. Where's, where's that life. voice coming from, life. huh? What? What is it? Well, anyway, let me tell you about uh, my average day. Well, actually, this isn't an average day. It's very special. Today is July 11th, 2008. So I start my virtual day. It's uh. And it's about 8.30 in the morning, and I start my virtual day the way I start most of my virtual days. Uh, the Island Guide is sort of a volunteer organization where we, we go out and meet the, the meet new people in, in there. I, I've been helping people in there since you know, 2003 when I first got here. Actually, started a couple weeks after I, I first got here. I guess part of the excitement is, is watching the other people new to there discover this fun and exciting world. Uh, it sort of makes me feel like I'm starting all over again. Um, there's a lot to learn and explore in there, and uh, it's nice to have somebody to meet you when you first arrive, especially if you've got any questions. Sometimes virtual worlds can be kind of confusing at first, so that's what the island guides do. Meet and greet and help answer questions. After about an hour of helping, I'm pretty much uh, done with that, actually, for the day. Uh, then I usually go off on a hoverboat ride. I like to go hover boating around Mirage. I always start there first. I also own a little hut there too, so I have to stop by there and see if there's anything going on. I built this hut specially to blend in with the buildings of Mirage, which is my favorite neighborhood in there. As you can see, here's one of the original buildings. That's the one I used to rent from there. But back in 2003, they stopped my ability to actually decorate in it. So um, when I became a designer, I ended up building my own. Ah, Flaming Banana, my favorite there drink. Mm. Back in the old days, Mirage used to be one of the places where the new people would arrive. I would actually sit on the porch of my hut in Mirage and, and watch them. They, they landed uh, right over that way. That sort of ended a while back. Now they sort of all basically arrive in the same area. But still, I like Mirage. It's one of my favorite places. I kind of used to play a lot of spades in there. It's a card game. Um, and I spent a, lot of, spent a lot of time sitting right here at this table playing cards. But I don't do it too much anymore. I also operate the Nene's Wake Fun Zone, where basically people drive their cars around way too fast. Ah. I also own and operate Lagoland. Uh, it's a virtual neighborhood in there, and I often come in in the morning and make sure that nothing is going wrong. Uh oh. Ah, not again. I first started making movies about the time Star Wars came out. I, I thought that would be really neat. I was about what, ten years old. Um, of course, there was no internets back then. <laughs> Certainly weren't virtual online worlds like uh, Hangout in now, but um, I, I did have this movie camera, Super 8 movie camera. It wasn't, didn't even have sound. Uh, started making my own first productions. I think my mom helped me sew a bunch of the costumes. Uh, I'd show you some footage of it, but of course it's not made in a virtual world. It, it wasn't long after signing up with there that I made my first machinima film. In fact, not only is today a big day because we're releasing this movie, Wizard of Lag, but also, today marks the fifth anniversary of Miracle Pictures, founded July 11, 2003. And so, it's an extra special day. That's, that's a 25th of a century. Yeah. Hmm, we've sure changed a lot in five years. Back then, we didn't even have a clubhouse to film in. Today, we have our very own motion picture studio. <laughs> ah, you've come a long way, Avatar. Now we have an entire neighborhood to film in. It's quite exciting. We have all these large sound stages to film on, and we can put up these extra big sets. Come on, let's take a look inside one. This is one of our new sound stages. This is Sound Stage 3, and uh, we haven't actually filmed anything in here yet, but I'm thinking when we do our new Brock Lee Chapter 9, we're probably filming in this sound stage here. Nah. I'm not running really fast. This is like one of our special props. I designed lots of stuff for there. I designed this uh, this moving thing back here. You can, you can make it look like you're run real fast, or we use it with uh, an airplane prop to make it look like you're flying through the air uh, so we can get a really nice close-ups of uh, the people in the cockpit. 
So as I was saying, today is a big day for Miracle Pictures and in my virtual life as we have the premiere of The Wizard of Lag. So today we've got the hood decorated with a whole bunch of props and sets. Um, you know, it's kind of funny how this movie got started. Uh, Jinx TV made most of this stuff for the Wizard of Nini event back in 2004. And when it was almost over, she said, hmm, I've got a lot of this stuff lying around. Maybe we should make a movie out of it. So, four years later, yeah, here's the finished product. Let me tell you a little bit about Wizard of Lag. It's well, my biggest production I've ever worked on. Uh, it's more than an hour and a half long. Most of the films I make are like 15, 20 minute shorts. This thing's a full feature length film. Not only is it long, it's, it's a musical. And that made it extra hard to edit. And we've basically been making this movie since, uh, well, March of 2004. Basically, it's been an on again, off again production all that time. Um, it's, it's complicated, it's large, it's bulky, it's it's all singing, all dancing, all lagging. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, my check's been lagging in in post production too. Uh, when do I get paid for check? Uh, it's in the their mail. Ha ha ha. Oh God, Sorry, I couldn't resist. Screen and widescreen version. The the whole getting sucked in the chat groups thing and a lot of other, uh, I guess, obstacles. Is they thank you for listening to my question. Hello, Nima. How are you? Excitement builds. Soon the crowds will arrive, and then I won't be able to move anymore. <laughs> Did I really just watch like four minutes of uh, waiting for the Tin Man to log back in? Evidently, you did. <laughs> Was it worth that, it? That brings back memories of pretty much every time we uh, had to film and wait for someone. Yeah, basically. That's that's why it's in there. That saved me from having to actually write another song. I'm going to be getting a lot here at uh, Miracle Pictures. Francis is giving me uh, the deluxe. Trailer the deluxe trailer and uh, I do believe I'm getting the biggest star. I think my star on my trailer even outdoes Rick Slick's star that he will be getting on his trailer. I believe mine will be larger and more sp sparkly. You want it animated? Wait, her trailer's bigger than mine? Uh. Okay, cat fight. Uh, Disky and I need people. We figured out we yeah, need people yeah, we so we're that people? We're big stars. We need people so our people can talk to her people so that we can get together. Well, I'll tell you what. If you guys want people, uh, you call my people and then I'll have my people hire some people of yours who they can call back. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Bye-bye now. Deal. And so that completes this tour through my so-called virtual life in there.com. Uh, probably really should find something better to do with my time. Woohoo! One twenty-fifth of a century. Hmm. One twenty-fifth of a century. Hmm. Four and five and carry the two. Oh! That should be one twentieth of a century. Oh <laughs> well. Let's hope no one notices. Good stuff.